camera's running. Okay, you hit it. Well, yeah, something happened. I see some damaged hard drives. We just got in a new batch of uh, shotgun darts to test out and several improvements have been made and uh, completely different designs have been uh, sent to us. Modifications include support rings, discarding sabos, metallic fins, and uh, just completely different designs. In this video we'll be testing these four projectiles including this one which will use one of the gray split support sleeves. This should keep the projectile straight as it goes down the barrel of the shotgun. The first dart is the smallest of all the projectiles we'll be testing today. It's a discarding Sabo um, with metallic fins. It's our first Sabo dart. Uh, very, maybe like a six millimeter dart. We're going to shoot at some uh, these hard drives. See if we can hit it. Master Sergeant. Master Splinter. Hit it. Oh, it, sh it was shot down on the ground. Now my initial observation, I believe what I thought was the dart hitting the ground was just one of the halves of the Sabos. The dart um, did a very unusual thing. And I believe what it did, it, it just re went over the top of the hard drive, hit its own shock wave, and it knocked it out of orientation. But it continued on, flying kind of sideways after that, and landed quite a distance behind the target. Now I'm still trying to figure out the right camera angles and camera settings to film these things. And, um, you know, it's, it's a very fast little object and difficult to film. Here you can see it hitting its own uh, shock wave. And I've seen this phenomenon before. I, I coined the term mock reflection as the shockwave reflects off a stationary object and disrupts the moving object. Hit it! Oh, it, sh it was shot down on the ground. Next up is this dart. It's uh, a little bit bigger. It's still less than one ounce. Has the metallic fins like the first one. And uh, I think it has a, a big tungsten core in it. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. That one tumbled around. And I tried a little different camera angle here where I got the tip of the muzzle in frame along with the hard drives in frame. Try to get, um, see what, what's happening as it's exiting the barrel, seeing the uh, sabos separate. And here you can see the dart, it's kind of in an upward orientation again. What I tried to do was set up one camera to get the detail of it leaving the barrel and heading towards the hard drives and the second camera try to get some detail of it you know passing or hitting the hard drives see I don't review anything on site so I review this stuff and then I determine okay I need to use a much shorter exposure to eliminate the smearing and blurring that we see here the third dart will be using the brass dart very similar to the darts that we shot during our first test session this time we'll be using the PVC split support collar to see if it'll keep it straight as it goes down the barrel. Sabo, uh, or uh, it's got a Sabo sleeve, a split sleeve, um, brass dart, and uh, let's try that out. Go ahead. Oh. Oh. That was a hit. We definitely saw a big improvement over accuracy with the addition of the split collar, which uh, keeps the dart completely straight and prevents it from yawing as it goes down the barrel. So when it exits, it's, it's going straight. And it definitely worked very well on this round. Now it's possible Matt was just shooting a little bit high um, it's very easy to do with uh, a shotgun that's just using a, a big bead on the front sight. It doesn't have a rear sight. But um, that, that one was a winner there. The last dart is the largest of them all. What I did, I painted it with a brownish red paint 
and I did that just to see if it would show up better on camera than just the shiny metal. Okay, uh, last dart for the day. Oh, camera's running. Okay, you hit it. Well, it, it, something happened. I see some damaged hard drive. Well, it, it, something happened. And that one actually went through the hard drive. Very impressive. Now we couldn't load this one normally. We had to remove the barrel, load it into the barrel, then it reinstall the barrel onto the shotgun just because the projectile was so long. But uh, it managed to shoot very well and pierce that hard drive. It's really difficult to really see the projectile just because there's so much other garbage wadding the sabos and whatever else is flying out of the shotgun. Now bear in mind that these are not my design. I'm just filming them and the designer is watching these and making calculated changes. And he actually does a lot of research using things like declassified military research papers. Now on my end I thought the safest thing to do would be to shoot just a small batch of these things for this time and then review the footage on camera figure out what camera angles what camera settings are the best and then apply that to the next test today's test was a lot more optimistic than the first test and what we saw were two hits and two near misses and uh... we're definitely making progress anyway i hope you're enjoying this little series thanks for watching